Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Thelma's Creations and More, where today I'm excited to share with you episode 2, yes, ep episode 2, of the Countdown to Christmas collab videos, yes, a collab where um, myself and all the participants that are linked down below in the description box are coming on every Friday starting the day after Thanksgiving all the way to Christmas and we're going to share with you projects that we've done, projects that we're doing, something that is Christmas theme related. Hmm. Well, today I decided to come on with you and share um, something that I am doing as a gift. Yes, as gifts. Yeah, two. <laughs> so, what are they, you ask? They're sketchbooks. Yes, sketchbooks that you buy at the art store. What I decided to do was to alter them. And what I did was I took a pack, a paper pack from Hobby Lobby. Let me see if I have it handy. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Oh, right here. It says All Boy. And I bought it. And let me show you all the, the scrapbooking paper that came in it. The reason I decided with this one, because it's all boy, and I had two boys um, that I wanted to give something to. And so I decided to use a sketchbook and alter it for them. This particular boy is eight years old, and so he loves to draw, and he, um, yeah, he likes to draw with markers. So um, I decided to alter the sketchbook with him because it can give him a place where he can draw. And I just took the paper and just put little tidbits here and there so he wouldn't have the plain pages. I did add a pocket here that I will be stuffing with items for him. I'm thinking like pencils and um I am including some markers for him and some stickers, um, little things that I can fit in here so that he can pull out and use. Um, like I said, I just added with the papers. I did purchase some stickers and matched along with it. I, I'm assuming or I'm thinking, I'm hoping that he loves a little pop of stuff that he can draw here, that it will spark his um, imagination. So I thought I'd come on here and share with you, um, you know, what I did here. Here, I just took a piece of the scrapbook paper and made a pocket, glued it on three sides. And again, like I said, I'm going to be putting things in here for him. Um, you know, I made tuck spots using the same paper. This one, I just folded it over. I thought maybe he would want to make a little note for somebody. I don't know. I'm sure he'll find something to do. I cut out some things from the different papers. You know, just something so that it won't be more pockets. Like I said, I'm still going to um, fill these pockets up. But since it's a gift, I'll leave that for him. Um, but more pockets and stickers so that he can, um, hopefully, it can, he can open it. And I'm imagining, I hope, you know, um, that when he sees it, he'll be like, Oh, a car, Grandma. Oh, a car, Mom. Look. Oh, what is this? A plane? I don't know. Hopefully, it sparks his imagination. More pockets pockets here what boy does not like bugs likes to smash them likes to throw them at little girls i don't know it came in the paper pack some more pockets here uh, i tried to put something in every page so that it wouldn't be so plain here is dinosaurs isn't that cute my i know my nephew loves dinosaurs here's a belly band that i'll be stuffing full of the of items for him um more belly band here here and here this was a shark more pockets so he can put things in there uh, stickers check out those stickers oh man I know that if my, if my uh, nephew would get that he'd be like oh man there's a shark and all this stuff so I'm hoping that he loves it as much as I have made it for him I enjoyed making it for him this one's for a 12 year old this one I did leave more white uh, pages only reason is because this uh, little boy, he's 12 years old and he loves to write. Um, so I put this little astronauts. I thought uh, it was still cute, bright, but not as, you know, childish because he is 12 years old. Aliens. I made some pockets and I'm still working on it, but I left some pages in between and then just little strips uh, since he likes to write. I left a lot of white. I still need to go back and do it. 
what I did was I took um, strips of paper from the scrapbooking um, paper, uh, three-fourths of an inch, and then I'll just add them here to the corners, to the side, to the bottom. Um, I'm fussy cutting out some items, so maybe I can put the little the little astronaut there, you know, maybe with little lines coming down here or lights coming up, like a little, the air thing from the top. Um, I'm still working on his, um, but I did include lots of pockets, uh, you know, little side paper, see? Um, just to give it some color in there, again, I will be stuffing it full of items, uh, maybe crossword puzzles. Um, he's 12 years old, so I'm trying to think of things I can put in here. Maybe um, if I can find a printer, maybe I can find a, like how to draw a robot, how to draw that thing, or um, how to make a robot, how to, uh, something about aliens, you know. Uh, the rocket ship, how to make a rocket ship, something like that. Um, nowadays, right now, especially with the coronavirus, right, they're at home. Um, and the, I believe that the kids need something to do to engage them. Other than sitting them in front of the TV or them being their tablets or their computers. Um, I think we're taking it back old school, right? Give them a pencil, make them draw, make them think outside the box, use your cre creativity. So I'm thinking that I want to... Um, Print out things on space and Mars and, you know, rocket ships. Whatever it is that is here, uh, maybe how to draw an alien, um, you know, space food. I don't know, something for him uh, to um, be created by. Maybe he can take that and this little boy enjoys to write, right? So maybe some pins in here. I did uh, purchase an art set for him that has drawing items, colored pencils, watercolors, acrylic paints, stuff like that so that he can use in here. That's why I chose a sketchbook because if he wants to use the paints, he can because the papers are nice and thick. Um, so I thought I'd come on here for this collab and show you um, what I've done and maybe give you an idea for a um a gift for somebody it doesn't have to be for little boys you can tailor it i've enjoyed it so much that i really think i want to make myself one because it's great for journaling you know to keep things in here to make a journal out of it and you can personalize it with anything any paper all i did was cut the paper glue it down um, the same thing in here i don't have to sew anything together because it comes spiral bound the pages are are nice and thick i mean they're thick good quality um that you know I can paint, I can draw, I can glue things, um, and it won't be a problem. So, I love that. I thought I'd come out here and share it with you. So, this is my um, collab video for the Chris Countdown to Christmas collab project number two. I wanted to share with you um, what I've done with these altered um, sketchbooks. And maybe give you an idea for a quick gift. Or, you know, maybe you have your kids at home, right? Your grandkids, your kids, yourself at home. And you're going stir crazy. You know, you're trying not to go out and expose yourself or your kids, your grandkids, your children to coronavirus. You know, why don't we go get a sketchbook? I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They were half off. You know, um, inexpensive, quite inexpensive. I believe there were $7, but half off was like three fifty. It came with 80 sheets. Um... And it'll keep us going and going. We can, you know, we can write, we can draw, we can glue things, we can collage things on there. We can make it into a photo album. We can write on there. We can draw. Uh, there's so many things you can do on paper, right? And I thought I'd share with you in this second project of this collab. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you. Um regarding this project please i have to put that disclaimer any crafty questions i can get back to you um i'm happy to share if you have any questions any concerns anything that you want to know about how i made this or any uh thing like that i'm happy to answer it i hope it gives you an idea um it's fairly inexpensive uh you could tailor it to everybody's um you know likes and dislikes um, and you can stuff it full of items for them, crayons, pencils, markers, um, you know, colored pens, glue sticks, art supplies, you name it, we can stick it in here, and I believe it will give them something to do, you know, 
I'm wishing you all stay safe and I am going to end it by always saying happy crafting guys. Bye.